How's it going, everyone? Today's topic is K1 Communion, Master Law Sector, dealing with champions and overload. Champions are barrier and overload, sorry, with a threat of solar. If you're wondering where the Law Sector is located, go to your map, click on the Communion there, take go to Sanctuary, and then make your way right over. If you've never ran this one before, or Law Sector before, what you're going to do is you're going to make your way down here, run it on normal, go down this pathway. Once you complete it on normal, uh, you'll then uh, have an understanding of how the run works. Along with, you'll be able to come back to the flag, run it on Legend and Master for the exotic pieces. Legend has less champions, Master has more champions. Legend um, uh, will have a reduced rate of getting exotic, so definitely run on Master if you can. But it's all about, can you handle champions? Use your weapons to handle that for you. So, for our build today, we'll be using Arbalist or Anti-Barrier. It takes out a barrier like a one-shot. It's awesome, does a mass, mass, massive amount of damage. Um, and then we're using our Trace Rifle. You can use a Scout Rifle if you'd like, or if you want to switch this around and use an Auto Rifle, so you want to use any auto rifle you got, like a Lodbrook or whatever, it doesn't matter, to take care of shields and then use a cold heart here, you can, all at preference. I would recommend a machine gun here. Um, if you can get one this week, um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty good. Uh, but definitely, uh, definitely, if you if you can grab one off of a, a Zavala, uh, Zavala has this for sale. You can pick up the either depth one or the normal one if you have it already. Uh, but definitely a good, good weapon or any machine gun or rocket, you know, whatever your preference. Heavy is all up to you. 100 resilience, 100 discipline for more grenade up time, 100 resilience keep us alive, and then as much recovery as you can get. Um, so you can you know, have your class ability up as much as you can. I would have more, but I'm using the sunlit gear for the farming of leaves. So make sure you do have a one piece on. You can have your warlock bond on if you want instead. Um, if you wanted to, you know, not mess with your stats as much, but depends on what you got on. Uh, so Stormcaller with Chaos Reach, Healing Rift to keep us alive, Chain Lightning to help us deal with art overloads or do massive damage up close. Uh, more jolts means more ability of cooldown means more ionic traces which means you know more ability up <laughs> more ability up time pulse grenades will do uh will last longer with magnitude it's jolt with shock spawn orbs for us while amplified and then give us ionic traces so this all pairs up with our grenades uh, electrostatic mine will, every jolt every blind everything else gives us ionic traces and then makes us amplified and then arc souls will do a um, mass amount of damage do most of the work for you our exotic is going to be Fallen Sunstar, makes our ionic traces very fast and very strong. We're using Dynamo as everything's close combat. Arc Siphon as we're going to be killing most mobs with arc, arc damage. So if you if you have an arc trace rifle or whatever you're using to kill most of the red bars, like arc machine gun, make sure it matches that type. If it's kinetic, use kinetic. If it's strand, whatever your weapon is, make sure the siphon matches. Grenade Kickstart for, so we can increase our damage. Uh, or we increase our damage or our grenade uptime so we do more damage. Uh, with grenade kickstart our grenades will drop fire or drop orbs which will give us more grenade kickstart charges we're using two arc resist here as uh most of the long range damage is arc and it really hurts so i'd make sure the snipers you take care of with arc damage uh, if you're having issues with the servitors run void having issues with the overload champions run solar everything else is kind of standard gives us back our ability all the time as we'll have a class ability spam so it gives us more grenade and everything else is just to keep us alive Hope this helps. Let's go ahead and go through this go through this run real quick. It'll be real quick. Oops, sorry about that. Not why am I not starting this thing? Come on. Let me make this thing smoother. Uh appreciate all the support. Like and subscribe. You guys are amazing. Um keep it up. Um and uh, I will keep making these videos. Alright, here we go. Just go ahead and jump across these. Don't don't ruin your flaws, dude. You're falling off. I'm gonna go right over here to our overload. Drop our circle down. I just want to make sure we're directly next to it. For our grenades spamming off here, this thing should die real quickly. Now we're gonna switch out to our machine gun. You can just one tap most of these mobs. Real simple for yourself. Pick up some orbs. Your arc souls will do most of the bombs work. Won't make you have to work as hard. There we are. Do some damage. Get your anti-barrier out. A few hits here. Let your arcs do the work. And finish her and move on. Melee. And then grenade the three mobs here. They'll fall over. And we're just going to use a little bit of our... If you have a scout rifle or a trace rifle, either one just to stun this guy. If you don't have a grenade active. We're just going to use our machine gun to wreck into this guy. Finish her. Save ourselves some ammo. Grenade, and then move on. The reason you have arc resist is for these long snipers. The champions don't do that much to you, but 
make sure you have your uh, arc resist on or else you're going to be uh, immediately dead. But definitely come up here, get the high ground, make it easy on yourself. Your arc souls will take out all the bombs. Don't have to do anything, just we're going to find the barrier. If we can, use our super on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break his barrier and then I'm going to super. I'll probably send my healing circle so I don't die. Cancel it early. Make sure you cancel it early if you don't think you're going to use the whole amount. Get a little, even a little bit of it's a bonus. Yeah, as, a war, as a arc warlock, you don't have to worry about any of the red bars. Your arc souls will do all the work for you. There you are. Pick up some orbs. Move on. Now, I'd recommend if you have a grenade active, just keep on sprinting. Don't even stop for anything here. Get to these mobs and then put a grenade down. That way you can uh, take these guys out real quick. As long as you're in the healing circle, you're fine. Finisher, other guys being jolted, so you don't have to worry about them. And keep using your class ability, get dynamo active. If you have ashes assets, it'll be you'll be going up crazy also. So whatever works for you. There you go, super back already. How many had to reload yet? Find the overload, he's on the far side. Oh, there you are. Oops, wrong one. Melee chains freeing everything. Awesome. Chain lightning's busted. Once we kill enough targets, we're going to have the boss spawn. But you can either play really aggressive up front, or uh, I would recommend if you don't have uh, your class ability ready for that full recharge or keep you alive, uh, then maybe sit back a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go sit back so I can show you where to sit at. Oops, I reloaded wrong. So you don't need, if you have rockets, you want to wait till the boss is kind of in a stable spot. You don't want to put yourself in a you know weird spot at all. Keep moving around. If you don't have a healing circle, definitely keep moving. And then once you get the boss damage enough, the third of his health, he'll move on to the next section. So just keep shooting him. He'll teleport away. He'll go down here or he'll jump off the edge. Okay, well, doesn't help my guy to show you how to defeat the boss if the boss defeats himself, but do exactly what I did and that'll happen. <laughs> I don't know. That was uh, interesting. Just jump off the edge. Okay, well, if you can get that... Oh, wait. He's back. Sweet. That was the strangest thing. He fell off the edge, and then he didn't fall off the edge. And then now he's dead, I think. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay, that was... Someone let me know in the comments below if you had that happen before. I don't, I don't know what happened. Since the boss died, all the exploding mobs show up, so you want to destroy them first, then worry about everything else. Again, as the champions CC'd, uh, crop controlled, sorry, um, he won't be able to do anything to you. So, focus it. Don't die anything else. Your uh, Arc Soul should do most of the work for you. Like, if there was a damage counter just for that, it'd be insane. But don't forget to have your uh, boots or some kind of thing on for your sunlit armor so you can get some silver leaves. You can definitely farm out pretty quickly, but. Five minute run real quick um let me know in the comments below if you want to see a different exotic weapon or armor piece or if the boss jumps off the edge just like you saw there for me uh but uh, like and subscribe i appreciate all the support i think i get a subscriber every day you guys are doing amazing and as always hope you have a fantastic day